Welcome back to Cause 3D. So I was gonna do another build video today, but instead I had something show up in the mail and I thought it would be fun to do an unboxing video. So I got a couple things from GameStop clearance and I thought that it would be interesting to share my findings with you. And I don't know how long they'll be on clearance and I don't know how long uh, they'll keep them in stock, but I thought we'd just go through this. Um, so I, I got several things and I just wanted to share my findings with you. So first of all, Ahsoka hat, it was like eight bucks. We're going to see Rosario Dawson here in a couple weeks at our, uh, one of our conventions that we go to. So I thought that'd be nice to get an autograph from her. Uh, let's see, we've got the Ahsoka I believe this was a head wrap, if I'm not mistaken. Slice that open nicely there. Get the box out of the way. Oh yeah. That's yeah, her little little head wrap. Comes in a nice little display case there. Uh, I'm gonna say on a scale of one to 10, this is about a three. This is why this was probably on complete clearance. So I think the retail originally was like I don't know, it's got $74 and $71 on here. I think I ended up paying like 30 bucks for this. Uh, I'm gonna say that's a, yeah, that's a maybe. That's a maybe there. Now uh, let's move on to our other interesting thing. So they've got the Andor Kyber Crystal that was on clearance. Again, I wanna say this was like $28 or so. Uh, actually, it's pretty cool. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's the uh, Sky Kyber Crystal Necklace, but no, for 30 bucks, that was, a, that was a decent winner there. Not too bad. But the one thing that I did want to do to set up for a future video is I went on ahead and bought a Black Series Mandalorian helmet. And I see on the forums a lot of times for the Mandalorian Mercs, for, uh, dented helmet i don't know all the places that i see everywhere they ask is it what does it take to convert one of these to a 501st quality and i was kind of curious myself so i thought we'd dive into this of course you know if you follow cause 3d we 3d print everything and we have a little bit different specifications for this stuff a little higher uh I'm gonna say a little higher expectations. I've owned a couple of these Black Series helmets and they are great, they're great helmets. But it's been my experience that they are not 501st approvable for many reasons. And I thought we'd just go in and do a video and see what it takes to get one of these to a 501st approvable quality. Let's get this unwrapped. And I'm not doing a review on these helmets. I have one already, but I bought this one on clearance as well. Again, I, I don't know, it was like $48, $50, somewhere around that range. And we're gonna tear this down and see what it takes. So we'll see you in the next video. Make sure that you like and subscribe and we'll put a link to the, to the video once we get it up in this one but we'll see you then. Thanks for joining us today.